everyone, so this video will be a sketchbook session and the supplies I'm using will be from these Upcrate boxes. Upcrate sent these to me just to make a video about and to try out these supplies. I think these boxes are really cute and there's a little keyhole at the front. Um, and I'm excited to just film a sketchbook session that I, I haven't really done that kind of video in a while. I have a coupon code for all of you if you want to get Upcrate and it also supports me when you do, if you want. So let's see what's inside. I'm very excited. I don't know how this is supposed to be opened. Okay. Cast off. Loosen the lines. It's all like pirate themed and like sailing themed, which I think is kind of cool. Alright. It's always like their packaging is really, really cool compared to other boxes. I'm always a fan of purple. So I think this kind of talks about what art supplies are inside, but I will look at that after. Message to myself, have fun. Um, oh, I don't want to rip it, but I kind of have to. Okay, I've been really into pencil crayons, so this is really exciting. These are Derwent pencil crayons. Light fast. Um, and Lyra. I've tried the Lyra ones. We got full foliage, <laughs> magenta, violet, yellow ochre, mallard green, mid ultramarine. I think that says foliage. I missed the eye. I was like, that looks like it's supposed to say foliage. And it comes with a sharpener. I think I have this exact sharpener, but mine kind of broke. No, I think you can actually slide this out, which is cool. I do have this sharpener already. I think that's, that's cool that they include a sharpener. And a pencil for sketching. Comes with paper. Oh, I kind of wanted to use my sketchbook, but I guess we can use paper. I could actually use these for Patreon originals. It's a very interesting texture to it. And I like how it's like a full size because sometimes other art supply boxes are like very narrow and it's like a really weird format to work with all the time. This is the featured artist. Some information about the Derwent colors. Pretty cool. Let's look in here. Oh, well, this is like an envelope you can use. Pretty cool. Little postcard thing. Sticker. Another sticker. A crepe battle. That was a different language. Comes with a face paint pack? I don't think this one did. Interesting. Now to open this box. All right. Yes, this will be my topic. Okay. Oh wow, that's a lot of this tube. What's this? What? Interesting. I don't have this. I don't know what this is. Either for cleaning or for texture. Um, another pencil. I'm not a fan of Cotman watercolors at all, really. I don't really like them. But I think they're fine in a sketchbook. So it's kind of cool to have these. Um, I can use them with my gouache and not worry about wasting the watercolors that I do like, but I am not really a fan of common. I know a lot of people use them though, but I just found a brand I like better. This is a nice brush. I'm always, always embrace new brushes because sometimes they can just get ruined. Okay, there's some sheets of watercolor paper. They actually feel pretty good quality. They feel like they're cotton. Okay, I think the sponge is for texture. And information about the cotton and watercolors. 
and this is the featured artist snow's art i really like their boxes i just <laughs> i think the packaging is my favorite part another cool envelope okay the upgrade battle is the challenge that they do with the art supplies these are cute okay let's see what what this is supposed to be so the sponge can be used for pretty much anything it's like you can dab colors on it to get excess off your brush you can use it to stamp you can clean your brush on it i'm guessing to do some paintings with well I actually end up only doing one painting with the supplies in the box I wanted to originally use my sketchbook for this video but um, the upgrade box actually came with some really nice quality watercolor paper at least they felt good quality to me they were cotton I think I'm actually not sure but they felt like cotton and they sort of worked like cotton and cotton watercolor paper is one of the best I think it's like the best paper you can use because it just takes the color really nicely and I remember not really liking Cotman watercolors but honestly they're kind of fine now I feel like I'm less picky with it because I'm more like mixed media now and less like purely watercolor I like to use lots of different media to make artwork and not just one for the whole piece I used to weirdly limit myself like if I decided you're gonna use watercolor I would I would feel bad if I used anything else on it that wasn't watercolor because I felt like it was cheating, but it's not cheating. You're just using your supplies how you want to make the art that you want to make. So I'm kind of glad I'm over that mindset because whenever I, I would do a watercolor painting I, and then I needed like a finer line and I got out a pencil crayon to do the fine line, I was like, oh, you're not good enough artist to just use watercolor for this and use watercolor to do the fine lines and to make it the way you want it to be with just watercolor like the fact i had to use pencil crayon i thought it was like it was like admitting defeat but it's really not i'm just kind of using whatever supplies i would want to use um i did use my sketchbook to test out the watercolors and the colors were pretty nice i wish it came with a yellow that's my only thing um but using a limited palette can be fun and it can kind of help your art have an automatic cohesive palette and the pencil crayons were pretty nice too they were a little drier than the a little less oily than the prismacolor premier pencil crayons that i use a lot um and usually if they're like drier and less oily like that you can get finer lines if you sharpen them the point lasts longer because it's not as soft i also wanted to tell you that my shop is open i opened it a week ago and I've been packaging orders and having a lot of fun to finally sending stuff out to people and just like thinking about future products I want to add and just seeing um, people actually like buying my original art and my new pins and all my stickers and stuff. It's just a lot of fun and I think running a store is just one of the, it's a really big part of what I enjoy doing. I just really like having variety with everything I do, making videos to kind of visually show my process in art and my the way i work in my studio and all sorts of stuff and then patreon for sending out monthly things and then my shop where people can buy things and instagram to like post just my art i like having a variety in all those different sort of venues to post stuff so having my shop open again um is really rewarding it's really fun to send things so if you want to check it out it's linked in my description shopgelarts.com i've been having a lot of fun with it and i want to make some like halloween stuff or some fall stuff um maybe i'll like launch like a fall collection i don't know i don't know if i can really do collections yet um i still make my own stickers i think it'd be cool to do a video about how i run my shop and to kind of show you behind the scenes of all of that once it's been up and going for a while so if you want to check out my shop it is linked in my description. You can grab some stuff there if you want. There's some new pins, new stickers, new prints, lots of new stuff and some original art. But those have been selling really fast. I think there's about two left now. 
Um, I'm going to add some more originals as the months go, but those are the ones I have up there now. Most of them are pretty old. So for this drawing, I wanted to draw some beetles. I originally wasn't happy with the way I did this, but the next morning I looked at it and I was like, actually, I do really like this drawing. It's really simple. They're just kind of standing there. Like, it's very static. Um, it could be more dynamic, but I think it's okay. Um, using the limited colors was kind of fun, and actually using watercolor on watercolor paper was very enjoyable. I haven't done that in a long time. I've just been using my sketchbook or, like, mixed media paper and not actual, like... Well, I have used watercolor paper, but not, like... This is like watercolor paper. It's cotton, I think. It just feels really nice. Um, it takes the, the washes really, really well. And doing detailed pencil work on top is fun too. Um, it was just nice to use these supplies. And uh, yeah, like I said at the beginning, I'm not a huge fan of Cotman watercolors, but like after using them, I kind of, they're fine, honestly. Like. I remember I found them a bit chalky, and I found a brand I liked better. I, I think the main problem I had with Cotman is that once they dry, they don't really reactivate very easily, and I use Shinhan ones now. They're about the same price, and I think they reactivate better. I use the Shinhan Professional watercolors. Maybe they're a little more expensive, but... I just really enjoy using them a lot more than Cotman, but Cotman is fine, like, straight out of the tube. Um, I do think they're a little chalkier, but honestly, it's been so long, and I don't really do purely watercolor, so I'm probably not the best person to get advice about watercolors specifically, but I just know I use Shinhan watercolors as my, like, sort of cheaper ones. They're not really cheap. I think they're, like, mid-range. I really like them. They're not that transparent, but I still... I like the way that, that, that they look, that they're not too transparent. For really transparent watercolors, I use the Schmincke Horadam ones. And um, those have some really nice transparent colors. They go a really long way. They are quite expensive in small tubes, but those are very, very nice watercolors too. If you really want like more transparencies, like if you want your watercolors to be transparent so that you see you see like the grain of the paper more underneath it and it's not as thick. Um, those are my two favorite brands that I found. But Cotman is fine. Especially if you're a beginner, Cotman is totally fine. I just remember I got rid of all my Cotman ones. I think I gave them away or something. Um, just because I just really enjoy using the Shinhan watercolors. The pencil crayons were fun to work over top of. The watercolors, I remember Upcrate asked me, like, what are some of your favorite supplies so we can send them to you in the box? And I think I told them, like, I've been liking gouache lately, pencil crayon, watercolor, that kind of thing. And it was nice to get a box with some other pencil crayon brands I haven't tried and to use them on this drawing. Um, so that was pretty fun. I actually did two drawings, but I'm not, I didn't show the other one because it just really didn't work out the way I wanted. But this one in particular, I just felt- I've been feeling really rusty with art and I want to draw more each day, but lately I've just been very busy with a lot of things and preparing my shop and just getting distracted with other things and not actually, like, drawing each day because I kind of, like, overthink it, like, oh, you're gonna end up spending too much time on this and you have so many other things that you need to be doing. You might be able to hear cicadas outside. It's middle of August. Well, end of August. There's lots of cicadas. But, yeah, I kind of overthink it. Like, you want to draw, just draw. But then it's like, but I I have so many other things I need to do. And, like, do you actually feel like drawing? What if it's bad? What if uh, what if you start to draw and you just it just doesn't work out and then you feel worse than you already felt? Or just getting out all the supplies to sketch and draw just seems like such a chore sometimes. But I think I said this previously, or did I say this on Patreon? I don't really know. Lee Alexin did a video where she drew every day for a week and filmed it, and I want to do that when I'm not so busy. There, There's a lot of video ideas I want to do, and I've already been thinking about Inktober. I don't have school this year, 
I already graduated, so that means I, I have a completely free schedule to do what I want with my time and my art. So Inktober, I want to do it this year and like do it well, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm really excited about fall already. Fall is like the happiest time of year for me. N not really like the happiest time, but I just feel very content during fall. Um, summer is like, I don't know why, I don't know if anybody else is like this. But summer is like kind of stressful. Like there's a lot of things to do. It's hot. Um, I, I feel kind of like guilty for staying inside so much, but like I have to stay inside and work and do things. But when it's fall and winter, it feels like cozy to stay inside because the weather is not always great. And it's like, oh, I'll just stay inside like everyone else is doing. But during the summer, you know, other people are like spending a lot of time outdoors and you're like ah why am i not doing that but like you don't really want to do that that's just how i feel about summer i still really like the beginning of summer when it gets warm and it's just really nice to feel the sun after such a long cold winter i do like winter for the first like month or so but once it starts to get just like minus 20 degrees minus 30 degrees and it's snowing and you have to shovel snow i injured my back shoveling snow last year and i'm still dealing with that um but i do like winter i just like living in a place where we got all the seasons it's really nice um having that like change outside your window just always kind of keeps things fresh and i'm looking forward to fall um so yeah, Upcrate sent me this to do a video. I didn't really want to do any more subscription boxes, but this is just like a one-time thing, not a recurring thing. And I thought, hey, maybe that will be an interesting video to film um, that will kind of get me to draw something that I usually wouldn't draw, like this limited color palette of two beetles standing in raincoats. Um, I think it's fun to draw bugs and little critters. Make sure to check out my store if you want to grab anything. It is now open for the foreseeable future. And my Patreon, there'll be a new package coming out soon for September. If you pledge before September starts, you'll get that sent to you in the mail. There'll be a trading card, a print, 5x7 print, and two stickers on my Patreon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. More videos to come, hopefully, sooner than the last one. And uh, I'll see you in my next video.